Uh, this is question number 17. And we are told a farmer has two tractors, P and Q. Tractor P, working alone, can plow a piece of land in five hours, while tractor Q would take one and two thirds hours less than tractor P. Part A, determine the time the tractor, the two tractors plowing together would take to complete the work, and you get three marks. Part B, one day the tractor started to plow the piece of land together. After 40 minutes, tractor P broke down, but Q continued alone and completed the work. Uh, calculate the total time taken to plow the piece of land that day, so you get uh, four marks there. Uh, C. In another season, the farmer hired an additional tractor R to assist P and Q, uh, which retained the same rate of working as before. The three, the three tractors took one hour, 12 minutes to plow the same piece of land. The owner of the tractor R was paid some money proportional to the work done by the tractor. If the work total work was valued at 20,000 Kenyan shillings, find the amount of money paid to the owner of the tractor R, and you get three marks. So this question uh, is a general question, and uh, I think you did this uh, in Form 3. Uh, so because of space, let me separate uh, the two, the two the, the work it in two sections, that is part A and B, and then I'll work on part C. So we start with the A, determine the time the tractors prying together would it take to complete the work. So we can start with the with tractor P. Uh, so let's say P. We are told it takes five hours to uh, to complete the job. So uh, so we say five hours. Uh, Q. It takes uh, one and two thirds hours to complete the less than what P Q. So you say uh, it is five minus. Uh, one and two that's hours and that when you subtract this uh, you get uh, this is three and a third hours so that is the time uh, so if the two tractors are working together uh, the, so you say P and uh, Q working uh, in one hour let's start with P in one hour it will do a fifth of the work and uh, in uh, one hour q will do we can say one divided by three okay we can write this in in proper form so it is three times three is th nine ten over three which we can say this is one and a half one fifth then uh, this we write th it is three over ten that is uh, time taken by p to in one hour the piece of done by P in one hour and uh, you can add this the LCM is 10 so 10 divided by 5 is uh, is 2 times 1 is 2 then you add 3 so this is equals to 5 divided by 10 which is equals to a half so it means if, if in one hour it is the, they are doing half the job uh, then they would take P and Q, you take then we di one and uh, divide by a half what they are taking in one hour, uh, and this will give you two hours. So that is, uh, they will take two hours to complete the job, and that is how. So you get three marks for adding the time and uh, getting uh, get one mark for the answer, and also now you you also get one the one mark for getting the time the queue takes to complete the job and those add up to three marks okay part b one day the tractors started to plow the piece of run together after 40 minutes tractor p broke down uh, but q continued around to complete the work calculate the total time taken to plow the piece of run that day uh, so because the one tractor that is P broke down uh, in uh, within 40 minutes so we can find uh, the, the, the the work done in 40 minutes by the two tractors that is P 
and Q in 40 minutes. In 40 minutes. So we can write 40 minutes is the same as 40 uh, divided by 60 in terms of hour. And because the two tractors are plowing a half of the land in uh, one hour, so we can find one hour, uh, 40 minutes, what will be the the work done you can divide there so we get to that uh, you multiply by a half uh, you divide two divide by two is one and you get uh, a third of the work will be done in 40 minutes so uh, remainder is one minus two over three uh, that is uh, not two over three but the work done is a third so it means that two thirds of the work is to be done uh, is to be done by the tractor Q. And remember, Q is doing uh, in one hour. It is doing this work. That is uh, one hour, three over ten. So in one hour. So what we can do is uh, we divide. Uh, th that is uh, two over three of the work to be done you divide with what q is doing in one hour which is three over ten uh this would be two over three you multiply by ten over three uh so uh you'll be able to get this is 20 divided by uh, nine uh which we can say it is two hours uh write it in in proper form and two over nine hours uh this is the time the the tractor P Q will take to complete the rest of the job uh, and because we are told to, to, to find the total time taken to plow the piece of land then we add uh, the time the, the 40 minutes so we say total time is equals to 2 and 2 over 9 and you add 40 over 60 is, we have seen it is the same as 2 thirds uh, which uh, you can add and you'll be able to get 2 uh, 8 over 9 which can be written as uh, in terms of hours you can say 8 over 9 times 60 it will be 2 hours and that will give you 53 uh, minutes and uh, 20 seconds so that is the total time the 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 the, 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 the two tractors would take that day to complete the job. So let's have a look at uh, C. In another season, we are told that the farmer hired another tractor. So what we can say, uh, they completed the job in one uh, one hour, uh, uh, twelve minutes. Uh, so that is the total time they they took. So we can be able to say. Uh, P to complete the job in that time since the P is taking five hours to complete the job so it means in one hour then the, the, the P had taken we can say to, uh, this is 1 and 12 over 60 uh, which is equals to 1 and 12 over 60 we can write it is 72 over 60 uh, which when you simplify can simplify by 12 you get 6 divided by 5 so actually we can write this instead of writing it like that we can say uh, 6 divided by 5 this will be 6 divided by 25 so in one hour it means that uh, Q will have done 6 out of 25 of part of the job then uh, we had seen that uh, in one hour uh, Q would, uh, so we look at Q, Q would do 3 over 10 of 6 over 5. So this, because the, it is proportional, the total time they took, the 3 of them, is proportional to the work, to the rate of work that they are doing. Uh, this again, uh, it will be able, okay, we can divide here by 2, we get 3, by 2 is uh, 5. So this will be 9 divided by 25, part of the job done by Q. So we can be able to find the, the proportion done by R, which we can say it is the whole job minus the parts that were done by the other two, the P and Q, 6 
uh, and 9 over 25. So this will be 1 minus, when you add the 2, this is, uh, uh, this is 15 over 25. 15 over 25, you get 3 over 5. And it means, uh, uh, it means uh, tractor R did 2 over uh, 5 of the whole job. And since the, 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 the work was valued at 20,000, and uh, the owner of the tractor R would take a proportionate amount, then what it means is that uh, uh, the owner of tractor R would take 2 over 5, you multiply by 20,000, and uh, you divide by 5, this will be 8, uh, not 8, but 4,000, multiply by 2, and that should give you 8,000. It means uh, the owner of tractor R got 8,000 shillings out of the money that was valued for the job. And that is how you do that question. I hope you have followed. Uh, uh, it's very easy to be to, to, to do that. You did this in uh, Form 3. That is in the topic uh, rate of work, proportional uh, rate of work and something like that. So that's how you do that question.